Look at our, tw our 2013 roadmap and what we're rolling out. Starting with Kaveri in a 15 to 35 watt range, the Kaveri APU is optimized for this range of power. It can drop right down, as I said, into this ultra thin kind of form factor, but also attack you know, the mainstream notebook and, in, and, and, uh, and certain desktop applications. Right? So it's a, it's a performance and a premium brand, but it's even more than that. And what we've done with Kaveri is we're enabling HSA for applications. So this is our, our first design that's really going to be uh, fully leveraging not only the shared memory uh, from a physical standpoint, but virtual shared memory. Very excited about Kaveri. Right underneath it, Kabini, optimized for the 9 watt to 25 watt space. Right? This design is incredibly optimized for this. It's very efficient. It leverages our low power cores, whereas we're using the next generation of our high performance cores for Kaveri with four steamroller cores. Uh, we have for Kabini four of our Jaguar cores, which I described earlier, our performance per watt optimized play. And then right underneath it for the tablet uh, with the uh, sub five watt range is Tamash. And you know, again, uh, this is going to leverage our performance for watt play. But what's very interesting about this is it's enabling a no compromise of solution. So what do you expect from AMD? You expect with our heritage to have world class type of graphics capability, world class type of computing capability, and you expect it brought together in our APUs. That's what we're delivering, not only through our our uh, you know, embedded applications and our, uh, our workstation applications, our desktop applications, our notebook applications, right down to our tablet applications. It is a no compromises APU solution across all of these plays.